This is so beautiful to look at. All right, quick story. I'm pretty sure by the title, you guys already know what we're unboxing. We're unboxing a mic, the Shure MV7. And this is the time where I say goodbye to the beautiful, to the beautiful Samson mic that I have. The Samson mic was actually very beautiful. It has served me very well and I wanted to upgrade to another Samsung mic. I don't know if you guys can ever guess what mic it is. You guys can comment down below and tell me what you think that mic is. If you get it right, I'm gonna comment down below and be like, you're right. I don't have the privilege to give out prices. So why I got a mic is actually pretty simple. I've had this mic for a, a few years, maybe a year, a year or two, maybe three. And I just felt like it's about time that I upgraded and this time you know because i got this i got this mic like second hand and i got it in a, for a very good price too and i'm also giving it away to a very special friend of mine um for a very 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 good price as well and i hope he'll enjoy this as much as i did and i felt like it was time for me to get a mic that wasn't second hand actually a mic that i like, brand, a brand new mic for myself and i've been doing research i've been doing different looking at different mic so i got the shirt mv7 and we're going to unbox it and i am so excited and i cannot wait to look at it and see what's in it and whatever and we're gonna go through this whole thing together so let's go all right as you can see it is bubble wrap with this kind of bubble wrap i like kind of like this one but at the same time you can't pop these and you okay now we took out the outer packaging you guys can now see that the MV7, it can be seen. Cannot wait. Also, I guess obviously we're gonna do a test. Um, and I want your basis to be with, I don't know, um, what I sound like now, to be your basis. Like after when we compare, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do a side by side. I don't, I, I don't have the privilege of doing that. <laughs> At least not yet. I don't think. I mean, like as you guys know, this isn't really a tech review channel, but I do like unboxing things. And once I got the upgrade, I was just like, I'm unboxing it. If ever you want to see the different uh, and sound is, you're gonna have to come back to probably this area. I know it might be a little bit of a hassle, but if you are or find it to be hassle, you guys can go easily search for comparisons through other YouTube channels who have already done reviews, beautiful reviews. All right, and this is how it looks like. This is the box, ladies and gentlemen. The moment we have been... It looks like, honestly, a box for alcohol. I'd put whiskey in this thing. <laughs> but look at it. Honestly, bigger than I expected. Okay, no, behave. Here we go. In the front, you guys can see the short box. Take your sound to the next level. First of all, if one day I decide to switch to an XLR type of audio setup, I don't really need to get a mic immediately. This thing is going to last me hopefully so many years on it. But since I don't have that XLR output thing going on yet, I do have USB slots. <laughs> USB slots on my PC. So this is going to work. And I am just so excited. Here's the side. The box again looks like a... Oh god. I keep saying it looks like a box for alcohol. I think you guys might think I'm an alcoholic. Here's the other side. Beautiful face. Oh, okay. And here we have the different features. So I'm going to read to you guys the features that this thing has. So the MV7 podcast microphone for podcasting, home recording, and gaming. So the features, voice isolation technology, auto level mode, live stream ready, customizable sound signature, real-time headphone monitoring, touch panels control, mic stand compatible. Ooh. So when you open the box, you're going to be greeted with this welcome to better sound. Pretty nice. I like that. I just want to be super careful. You know, I don't want to be, I don't want this to be one of those unboxing videos that accidentally goes viral because I dropped the mic. I don't want that to happen at all. Okay. So I was wondering how you open it. I've been like fidgeting on the top. It turns out you open it like a shoe box. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Here is your short quick start guide. And basically a manual. You go through it you get to connect via xlr you get to connect via usb your usb touch panel is also there and then here is how the app looks and how it will operate again if you guys want to know more about this whole thing you got feel free to ask me in the comments i guess or you know get one for yourself if you guys want to get one for yourself there will be a link provided at 
the bottom. I'm gonna open this thing up. Starting here with this compartment over here. Over here, you have your two cables. This is for the USB and this is for the XLR connector. So, we pull out the microphone. Oh my gosh, are you ready? This is it. This, this is it. This is so beautiful to look at. Huh? That's a pretty good design. And here at the back, you can see this is where you plug your headphones in. And this is where you plug your USB connection. And this is where you plug your the XLR. So here is the touch panel. This is what you uh, where you tap whether or not you want to increase your mic volume or not. This is the mute button right here. What people don't like, and I'm not sure if I'm going to agree with them or not, is basically they kind of want it to be a button. Why do you want it to be a button? So that when you press it, there's feedback. You know, if you're actually muted or not without having to look at your, like, your audio meter or something or your levels to see. So it also comes already with, a, with wind protection. This is how it looks like without it. Pretty smooth, but I really do love how this thing looks. Don't you? Oh, crap, this thing looks beautiful. So say goodbye to the mic, everybody. We're about to plug this in and test it out. After we test it without, after you guys hear me, we're going to add filters to it. I don't know if you guys want to see the filters I use. If you want to see the filters I use, then comment down below and we'll make a video. All right, we're back. And this is what it sounds like without any filters yet. This is basically me plugging it in and just using it. First of all, I really like this. This really reminds me of the time I've worked with USD Tiger Radio and it is just, oh my gosh, I love it. I already love it. I don't know how this is gonna sound like when I start editing it, but I plugged in my headset into this thing and just started speaking and oh my gosh, I love it. I love it and uh, I cannot explain. So I also downloaded the SurePlus Motive app and I don't know if you guys want to see what I'm going to be trying to do to play around with the settings, but I feel like you guys deserve to see it as well. So I guess um, I guess we'll do that. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. All right. So I didn't really have the time because I didn't really know I was going to be doing this part of the video, but I cannot wait. So this is basically the app right here. So as you can see, we have presets already. You can also mute here if you don't want to press the button that is available on the mic itself. You also can adjust the gain, monitor mix, which is actually pretty nice. And here you have EQs as well. So very, very interesting. So let's play around with the app and see what we can get, yeah? Okay, so basically the monitor mix is, well, would you rather hear the volume of your mic more or the volume of the desktop even more, which is, I, can't, I like that feature just because, you know, you never know if you have background music going on in on your desktop while you're recording i guess on obs and you don't want to move that anymore you can't lower your volume anymore because it's already perfect on obs so you decide i just need to listen to my voice even more you can just adjust this to the left you'll hear your mic even more and you move this to the right i don't hear anything on my headphones anymore it, obviously you guys are still gonna hear me <laughs> but um yeah so eq what's this one high pass so this is high pass uh a high pass equalizer Sounds really nice. I like it. Let's move on to this one. Presence boost. This is what I sound like. And here we go with high pass and presence boost. So limiter. This is really nice. All of this I'm going to be putting on like um, OBS and everything for uh, it to do. I'll be letting uh, OBS handle all of that. Uh, basically all the limiter compressor. I'm going to make OBS handle this instead of the this whole setup right here. But all I'm saying is that you can do, if you don't want to, like example, you don't have OBS on and you just want to do it. Like if you're talking to your friends, you have an interview or whatever, you want to sound nice. Ta-da! Get the app and try it for yourself. It's actually really nice. So you have compressors as well. Light, medium, heavy, very nice. Limiter. I don't know if you want all of this on or off. I haven't featured it with the app enough to know if you should or should not. But it is just really nice that you can have this here. You can also have auto level. So auto level is basically, it'll pretty much detect this for you. So tone, dark dark wow bright this is bright this is natural i guess we'll close this now and i'll see how this goes when i start putting the filters that i have on obs so this is how the mv7 sounds like again without 
um, any filters but here we have the four filters that I use on OBS you, this is the Reaper plugin so you guys can get this just go to Google search Reaper plugin for OBS and you guys can easily download this and put in the necessary things so I have noise suppression noise gate EQ and compression if you guys want a detailed um, detailed view of my settings honestly you guys can go watch Nutty's video that's N U T T Y Nutty's video on this and it is absolutely amazing I didn't have to change the settings that he had. I felt like the settings he uses are the settings that I needed, at least for personal preference. So this is what I sound like. Again, regular, nothing special, nothing, whatever. And now let's go activate it and see how I sound like. So here it is. Um, this is what I sound like with the EQ on, compression, noise gate suppression. Again, the noise gate and, and the noise suppression um, just adds a little bit because again, this is a dynamic mic and for the EQ, um, it is a little bit bass heavy because I do like that beefy sounding sound. I don't know. I just really like it when voices sound beefy. I don't know. P personal preference again. And um, if it is it your personal preference, let me know what you guys like for your mic. What do you like your mic to sound like? So this has been the short MV7 unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. If you did, hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed, now's the perfect time to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please be kind to one another.